hello there and welcome to this tutorial and today i'm going to show you how to create a multi-span truss from just a single span i'm Maurice dimba and join me and let's get started right away if you take a look on the screen we have our previous truss that we did using a, a component that we did we created and saved inside our technical structures library or applications and component here now we want we want to create or we want to create a multi-span using this uh, truss so let me first of all just turn it around so that you see you all the parts that we have we have we have the pilings in place already attached to the uh, to the top cord of our truss and uh, the truss itself is connected to to the columns and now we want to create a multi-span and uh, this should not be something hard to do and i'm doing this because we keep getting new new people every day that are new to tecla structures and this might be a hard task to do and i'm going to show you that if you want to create a multi-span from just a single span truss now what you need to do first in this in this particular case we have our grid span from this end to this end so let's first of all get the dimensions by by going to edit here and we go to measure here we come to measure because we want to uh, get uh, the the full distance here and this one is uh, 50.8 so let's get the span of this single span uh, of this single tr uh, single st uh, truss will come edit to edit there and uh, once you click on edit you'll be able to get all these tools and uh, that will help us in, in uh, getting the measurement i'll click on that drop down arrow and pick on the distance so i want to get this pan so i'll, I'll, I'll first of all pick my first po uh, point here right there and i'll go and identify my second point here identify my second point here so I have my second point in place and the span reads 25.4 that's what we have so first of all I've already lost my base plate here so we, let's bring it back because I deleted the, the, uh, the previous section so I'll just go ahead by doing the undo the undo until I get my base plates back because I deleted the part uh, other parts and uh, it seems I deleted the base plate by mistake and uh, let me just turn this round so that we see everything that was deleted prior to this so this the, this is just a double span uh, of a truss so we want to convert this or we want to increase this to a multi span so what I'm going to do I'll just double click on I'll just double click or, or prior to double clicking let me just redraw by right clicking coming to uh, redraw right there just to clean our our, our our truss here so let me just double click on my window here and uh, change this so the moment you double click will be you'll be presented with the view properties so i want to adjust my view here uh, at 90 right there and uh, here i'll give it zero there i'll click modify and i'll be able to have uh, an elevation here so you see I want to get rid of this section here so what I'm going to do I'm going to select everything on this section because I don't want it for now because it will interfere with, with the process of, cre of creating the multi-span of our structure of, of, of this uh, of this building so let me just switch back to where we were and deselect this grid to and deselect that grid so this is what we have and I've, I've gotten back my base plates because I deleted them initially by mistake. Now, what we have in this is this. Now, we'll double click on this grid line and we want to ad 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 adjust uh, these spans to some uh, measurements. So, I'll just increase these uh, grid lines because in this particular case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let me add here 16. I'll add 16 here and uh, the 12.7 will, will remain in place so once i've done that i'll go ahead and click uh, modify so prior to that i'll increase 
the 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 grid and labels but let's first of all see what changes are we going to receive i'll go ahead and click ok or modify and this is how you'll see our our grid stretches so we'll uh, we'll match will uh will occupy this space with our single span or converting this to a multi-span so let's first of all uh, in, uh i mean place or label our grid line here i'll come to y-axis under labels and i'll start just uh, to label them just placing that manually seven eight nine and we'll put ten so this should be a, a very simple thing to do and it should not take you a lot of time and this is how it's done they just type in your, uh, the numerical num uh, the numbers here that defines uh, your grid lines so let me just feed in here 19 and let's try and feed and uh, click modify and see how that takes us to takes us to so that this way it is and it's all the way from 1 to 17 so let's first of all get what length is this we'll come to edit and come to measure and we'll define it from that spot and stretch all the way to this far end and we'll get the measurements so when i terminate it here we'll see we have we'll see we have 203.2 meters this is a very very huge building this is normally ideal for uh, the warehouses for those people who want to uh some uh, some sort of business you, pro you, you provide uh, storage services for people who import goods and and uh, the lack storage services so you can build this and uh provide the spaces for for some fee or at a fee now this is a huge space now we have this single span here and we want to populate it to cover all this distance so let's check the length length will be here i'll come to edit and inside edit will be able to access this these tools so let's check this uh, distance from that point and to this point here so if i click on that point you'll be able to see the length of this uh, structure will be 60 meters so i'll select everything here but uh, to to convert this to a multi a multi-span uh, will depend on how you select uh, the, the parts that you need to connect to each other uh, you have to be very very accurate or or creative in doing that so let me just double click here so that uh, I, I I'll be able to be in a, a position where I'll be able to select the components that I want to connect to each each other to create uh, that multi-span structure so I'm going to select everything here and I don't want to select the base plate here so I'll come all the way and select on this let me just select on that I select everything there so um, I'll come here and uh, deselect this so I'll come here once again and deselect everything here and deselect that so I'll, re I'll, I'll remain with the ball selected and we uh, at the bottom end here I have everything deselected except the balls that connect uh, this column and this truss a reason why because i want these balls also to create a connection at this far end here when i bring when i bring the truss to this far end so what i'm going to do once i've selected all these component i'll come to navigate and I'll, I'll pick on the rotate and i want to rotate this like this another option or uh, once you've selected on this the two options here we can either copy them one by one or we can just copy linear everything to that distance i mean to this distance by let's first of all check so that you see this actually uh, from the uh, from the from the model here so this is the measurement that we are going to use to populate this along uh, along this span so it is 25400 or 25.4 meters so let's count these spans. How many are they? We have one, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. We have eight spans. So once we, we are done with this, 
and we want to populate this that way, what will assist us is uh, the, the position of our x-axis, x-y-z axis. So this will be populated along the x-axis. So let's right click and come to spatial copy here and pick on linear. So the want to pick on linear here, I'll feed this measurement that uh, I showed you at the bottom end here, 25.4. I'll feed it on the x-axis here, 25.4 or 25 400 millimeter and type it there so how many do i want i need eight of these so let's see how this option works out and i'll go ahead and click ok first of all prior to invoking that uh, command make sure you are in the right axis so we are still on the right axis remember the moment you uh, every every time you work on a particular axis the rest should remain at zero and uh, or this measurement will try to pull each other in each in in every direction and you end up with something awkward that you cannot share with anyone now this is what we are going to use and we'll feed in this measurement 25.4 or 25 400 millimeter so i'm going to click copy to populate these sections that i've selected and i'll go ahead and click copy so that we get to see how our multi-span is being created There we are, and uh, our multi-span has been created. So we, we are getting a question here. Do we need to expand or not to expand? We can go ahead and click expand so that you see also everything be, uh, be confined within our working area. So I'll just go ahead and click expand so that we see what has been created. So we just give you some time to process that information. And you see we over counted uh, uh, the number of our of, of our spans so another trick we can do we have two options here we can either delete this or adjust our grid line to uh, to match to or to put or to include this uh, extra span into our equation so let me just double click on our grid line here so that we include this so how do we include this just double click to include this just we we are going to add here uh, 17 so instead of 16 we'll we'll add it to 17 so let's just click modify and we'll be able to see this adding up but not fully so i'm going to double click once again so that we see how this is adding up double click once again and try and add this to 18 we see that how that is adding up so that's how it, it it's going to respond so everything is exactly in place so let's go one by one and check how our, 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 our how our connections have been uh, uh, duplicated to to this end so if you come to trans column connection it's perfect and it's similar on or it's similar from the first one L let's come and check this one here this connection nothing has been uh, distorted due to copying command and let's go to this one also everything is correct so this is how it's you can uh, uh, create a multi-span in just a click and this is how it looks and we have a big structure here so this is how it's done and we have this in place we will detail this and uh, if you're interested in this particular model you can always uh, get it from uh, from silvermax uh, there are a variety of pro professionally done projects already on the site and you can access them they are done but they are done by professionals detailed by professionals and uh, approved by professionals so just feel confident with those drawings on our site so this is how it looks so this one is looks nice so let me just turn that so if we if we change our view by double clicking on the window here and switch back to we try to change the projection from uh, or, or, or from author to perspective let's let's try that so we'll go ahead and click modify and click uh, apply and if, if we come to navigate here we'll be able to turn this around and check how this uh, looks like
and uh, this is how it looks when you take a perspective view from any other point and you'll be able to see how this structure from from the beneath of the trusses how does it how do they look so this is is the connection we are connecting the palings and uh, and uh, the top cord of our truss so this how it's done and uh, if you're new to this channel please remember to subscribe uh, to this channel if this is your first video to bump into and I'll, 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 I'll be doing anything new because you keep getting new guys or new people into our channel and new people who are new to Tecla structures and uh, unfortunately or unfortunately they bump into some advanced videos so uh, that does not really uh, uh, get them started with Tecla structures so this is why I pick on, on random uh, tutorials maybe starting from scratch maybe starting uh, as uh, slightly advanced or, or touching intermediate uh, so this is how it's done so this is your first video here please don't forget to subscribe and also enabling that notifi notification bell so that you get informed or at any particular time that we upload a video and you, you'll be able to learn from every step or every every video we upload our, our videos are very considerate we consider every every person either you are from basic level or intermediate or advanced uh, uh, stages so thanks a lot for watching this video and bye bye stay safe i'm maurice dimba and let's meet then